Around four to seven million years ago, early hominins like Salhelanthropus tagensis, Auroran tugenensis, and the genus Artipithecus have some pretty interesting adaptations. Let's take a look. Let's start with Sahelanthropus tagensis, discovered in Chad and dating to about six to seven million years ago. One of its identifying features is the position of the foramen magnum, which is the hole in the skull where the spinal cord connects to the brain. In Sahelanthropus, this is positioned slightly forward, suggesting an upright posture and possible bipedalism. This is a derived trait that moves us closer to our own mode of walking. Even though much of Sahelanthropus's anatomy still indicates arboreal or tree-based movement. It's worth noting that its cranial capacity was small, around 360 cubic centimeters, similar to that of a modern chimpanzee, showing that brain enlargement came much later. There were also changes in its canine teeth. Sahelanthropus had reduced, less pointed canines compared to other apes, a sign of reduced reliance on dominance displays among males, possibly indicating a shift towards social structures where physical competition was less emphasized. Next up is Auroran tugenensis, discovered in Kenya and dating to around 6 million years ago. We see some of the clearest early evidence for bipedalism. The femur, or thigh bone, has a robust structure with thickened areas that would have supported an upright stance. This derived trait shows that Auroran was adapted for walking on two legs. But at the same time, Auroran still retained long arms and curved finger bones that are characteristic of tree-dwelling primates, indicating that it could still move through trees when needed. This combination of bipedalism and climbing adaptations highlights the environmental shifts early hominins were responding to, possibly needing to traverse open spaces between forest patches while also spending time in the trees. Auroran's dental features also provided insight into its diet. It had smaller cheek teeth like molars and thicker enamel, which would have helped in processing tougher plant material. This was an essential adaptation as hominins moved toward more varied and fibrous diets. Around 4.4 million years ago, we find Artipithecus remittis, also known as Ardi, from Ethiopia. It's the best documented of these early hominins, with over 110 specimens. One of Ardi's unique features is its opposable big toe, an ancestral trait that would have been advantageous for climbing. However, Artie's pelvis and hip structure show adaptations for bipedalism, a derived feature that indicates she could walk upright, though likely not as efficiently as later hominins. This complex set of traits suggests that Artipithecus was well-suited to a diverse habitat moving both in the trees and on the ground. Dental adaptations in these early hominins also tell us a lot about their diets and social behavior. A key trend we see is the reduction of the canine teeth. While Sahelanthropus and Aurorans still had somewhat pointed canines, they were smaller than those of modern apes. Artipithecus remittis had even less pronounced canines that didn't differ much between male teeth and female teeth. This reduction suggests a decrease in sexual dimorphism, indicating that early hominins may have relied less on aggressive displays for mate competition than other primates do. Another important dental feature is the lack of a canine diastema, which is the gap between the front teeth that allows space for larger canines to close. Most early hominins, like Artipithecus, lacked this gap, suggesting a continued trend towards smaller, more human-like teeth. Early hominins also had thick molar enamel, well-suited to grinding down fibrous plant material, and they also had a dental pattern of 2, 1, 2, 3, which includes two incisors, one canine, two premolars, and three molars in each quadrant of the mouth. This formula is shared among old world monkeys and apes and early hominins alike. Overall, these traits in the skeleton and dentition highlight the early stages of hominin evolution. Bipedal adaptations like the forward positioned foramen magnum, a more robust femur, and a compact pelvis represent derived traits that helped our ancestors move upright, while dental changes reflect dietary adaptations and a possible shift in social structures.